apologies in advance guys um, this little short video uh, on a Sunday afternoon is about uh, engines boat engines it's relevant to us because obviously we need a boat engine I know it's not going to be interesting to a lot of you people that really just want to see us diving or, or want to see other aspects of our channel but uh, so bear with us anyway um, and thanks for watching and, and thanks for subscribing and thanks for sticking with us Greetings Treasure Diver fans so you may be wondering what I'm doing with this Evinrood E-Tech well I've always wanted an engine like this you know a nice high performance engine I couldn't have ever afford one that's why we ended up with a Chinese Parson um, but now I've got one and it's cost me nothing this is actually free I didn't pay anything for this engine it's a 2014 Evinrude E-Tech 50 horsepower it's a hell of an engine and it was free so how did I manage that? I didn't steal it incidentally do you like the stand? I made it I started to make these stands so if anybody wants one I can make them for you they're going to be about 120 quid but they're really good, they're heavy duty and they're designed specifically for bigger engines because you can't buy them you, tend, you see them advertised on eBay and they're all like these little fold up things and you wouldn't want to put a decent sized engine on them they're only for little engines so I made this one and uh, yeah, brilliant so if you want one let us know um, right, let's tell you all about how I ended up with this engine. I saw this on Gumtree and you probably recognise it as an Evinrude E-Tech. It's 50 horsepower. It's a 2014 model and it was advertised as blown up. Uh, basically it was a, a large marine engineering company down uh, in Cornwall. Uh, they normally deal with you know much bigger engines like Princess uh, engines and that kind of thing in uh, big motor cruisers uh, yachts and uh, super yachts and things uh, and basically the guy just came in and said oh I've blown this up can you put a new one on so uh, they popped a new one on for him and just left this in the corner of the workshop didn't look at it um, and then they started tripping over it so one of them had the idea of putting it on Gumtree which they did for a nominal price of £350 um, and I snapped it up so this is going to be my story about getting this engine back in the water incidentally I also, when I was down there the guy said oh were you interested in any more outboards and I thought well <laughs> why not so uh, he said I've got a pair of um, mariners here 60 horsepower fuel injection and uh, you can have them for £200 each so uh, I'll snap them up as well so I've got a pair of uh, mariners here which um, I'm selling I'm hoping to sell these two which will cover the price of all three which will mean I've got the Evinrude for free uh, this one, one of them, this one is supposedly was just taken off of a rib and it was working when it was taken off um, this one has had pit parts robbed off of it for uh, other engines so it's got no injectors in it and the leg you can see there um, the gearbox has been apart uh, and it's not turning so um, yeah so we're going to uh, try and see, sell these on Flea Bay and uh, see what happens right great news I've just been back inside and looked at my uh, computer and someone's bought these two £1200 for the pair uh, it's a dealer uh, that deals in outboards new and unused so they're obviously know what they're talking about so that's pretty good so I paid for £750 for all three 
and so I made a profit there healthy little profit and I've got a nice 2014 Evinrude out of it for nothing it doesn't run yet but let's see what happens it comes with all the plastics so the two side panels and the top cover hood cowling whatever you want to call it uh, they're a bit grubby but um, there's no damage to them which is good no cracks nothing like that so nothing that a bit of tea cut or uh, maybe a respray wouldn't do so that's a bonus these engines always look worse when they're lying down as well don't they they look sort of you know dead or injured so they're much better when they're up on a stand like this which I made recently specifically for this um, the only trouble is with this it's when they took it off it was in the up position um, and obviously now it's no, not connected to any power or anything I can't get the uh, can't get the hydraulics to let it down so it looks a bit precarious when it's up on the stand well there's the two mariners that um, I sold uh, they always look better when they're standing up, don't they, on a nice stand, as opposed to just lying on the ground. And you know what, you get a lot more money for them as well if, you, if your pictures that you list um, are on a stand like that. Uh, they really fetch more money. Right, this is the um, Evinrude E-Tech 50 horsepower two-stroke. Um, I was going to sell this as well, and then um, I read a lot of reviews about them and all about them and kind of really got started getting interested in it he's going to really generate some uh, thrust with that so anyway um, well yeah where was I right so I bought this like this um, it's also been taken off of the boat in the upright position uh, and that was it it was just lying on the ground in a workshop um, getting all dirty uh, with that sticking out so um, I had to put it on the stand like this as well. I was going to film it, but it was an absolute nightmare. Uh, I was at it on an engine crane, and I, was, I had to literally lift the trolley up and bolt it to that, and then put it down on the ground, because it, it obviously wouldn't come down at that angle. So this, uh, this project, which is what it is, I mean, it's a project. Uh, I've been told it's blown up. So. Um, uh, but I, you know, well, I've mixed feelings about that, but uh, I mean, it's full of oil for a start. Well, three quarters full of, of, the, of the oil. Uh, and the oil is, that's the tubes that send the oil into the, wherever they go. Um, so, and they've still got oil in them. So it's been pumping oil. Uh, there's nothing really else that would make it blow up, I wouldn't say. I mean, it's only, well, it's a t 2014, so it's, you know, five or six years old. Um, and these things have three year service intervals, so I mean they're bulletproof. So, uh, you know, I, I think it's probably something. Uh, one issue that I definitely have got, and that is um, when I laid this down, um, gearbox oil came out, actually poured out of here, or poured out somewhere, I don't know where, because I was lying down. I just found a big pile of gearbox oil underneath it, so. Um, you can see where it's all so it's obviously come out of here so but so much of it came out it's not like you know a seal's worn or something literally it, it all came out so um there's something wrong there um but it doesn't look like it's, it doesn't look like it's been taken off um yeah i just don't know bought a online workshop manual about 450 pages uh, so that's good and i've also got i've also ordered the um diagnostics um, patch lead so this is all computerized and uh, it's just like your car so you plug your car into the diagnostics thing that comes up with all the fault codes and all that this is just the same so I sure be able to find out what fault codes came up on it previously so that would be interesting um, so I've ordered that anyway and it's coming from Lithuania so that's looking forward to that Right, um, yeah, so the issue is that it's stuck up, up in this position. Now I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to try and get some power to it. Then I'm going to have to try and hook up the um, the buttons on the side panel 
which are obviously I've taken the side panels off, so, but on the side panel there's two buttons, the up and down for the tilt, which plug into there. Um, so I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to rig all that up and try and put a battery on it and all that and, and then make it go down. But apparently, you don't have to, you can do it manually. Um, that's the beauty of YouTube, isn't it? Well, there's wonderful people on YouTube that make videos. Um, you, on the bigger ones, there's um, a hole in here. Where are we? On the bigger outboards, like the, the 75s to 90s or, and beyond, there's a, a hole here that says something like, um, I don't know, manual tilt or something. And you basically, it's just a hole, and you put your screwdriver in and you, you turn a, a screw. Um, and on the smaller ones, apparently it's that one down there. I thought it might be that one. I, I was told it was one of these, um, but it's, it's that one. Now I've got the manual, um, I can see. So it's this one here. So you've got to undo that, just like you do with a, a trolley jack for your car. You release it to release the pressure, and then it should drop down. Uh, but I've got to get this undone. I tried it with a screwdriver last night, and it was just, just too hard. So um, I've brought an impact driver this time. Some kind of clip. It's like a sear clip there. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's a sear clip in there. Right, story so far. All I had to do was get this out, unscrew this red screw out. Just unscrew it, that's all. And it wouldn't budge. I used an impact wrench on it and it's snap the impact wrench and it just won't come out. But I've since seen this thing around the outside which looks like some kind of circlet probably to stop this from vibrating out. Um, I've never seen anything like it. It's not in the manual. It's not simply moving. Might be what it's for because it, it is up against it, but it's definitely up against it, so that's why it won't undo. How do I get that out? Right, so if you've got one of these, whatever you do, don't try and, don't try and get this uh, screw out if you've got one of these in it. I might try and screw it back in a bit now. So I think the only thing to do is to remove the drain plug, take all the oil out, hopefully then it will release the pressure and I'll be able to drop it. Then I'll be able to take the whole unit out, put it on the bench and sort this out once and for all. Right, we're going to attempt to empty this um, hydraulic pump of fluid. Now it has obviously got uh, one of these things here that holds it up or down, or holds it up, locks it up. Now I don't know which way is up and which way is down. So to be safe, I'm using a, a bar which I use on one of my other outboards. And we'll just pop that in there so it's not going to go anywhere. This looks to be a 7 eighths nut. 
This is all, because uh, this is American, this is obviously all uh, Imperial, whereas we're used to uh, dealing with metric. Luckily, I've got an old vintage car, and that's obviously Imperial, so I've got the sockets. That's a bit disappointing. Oh, there's another nut inside. And a little spring dropped out as well. I'm not sure what that's all about. Little tiny spring. Oh, that's loose. This is all an interesting mystery. So that that pushes in and out. Let's see if we can wake it out. Oh, yep, it came out. But the oil's not coming out. Maybe we need to release the pressure. Oops. We release the pressure from the top. Didn't do anything. Oh, here we go. Shit. That was right. Look at that. So, let me reposition the camera. After all, this is YouTube. Oh. Wow. In a roundabout sort of... Whoa! Jesus. Whoa. In a roundabout sort of way, we achieved our goal. Nice clean oil. Let's put everything back the way we found it. Put the spring in there. Right, he's tightened up. Okay, we've achieved the goal anyway, sort of. We've managed to drop it, so it's in a much safer position to work on. And uh, it's got a little bit of a pooey mess down there. That looks more normal now. It was a bit weird when it was up in the air. I can get a better look at it now. Hmm. All right. Mind you, that still doesn't solve the issue of why that wouldn't come out. Why wouldn't that come out? It's got something stopping it. I have to investigate further. But we are, we'll take it out anyway, put it on the bench, and uh, we have to see it better then. All right. So far, so good. Thanks for watching. <laughs>